hello everyone welcome in my channel asp.net code today i am going to show you the next video tutorial of image gallery project that is the part 3 in which uh, project uh, i am going to show you how to create repositories the next part that is a media repository so just uh, name a class that is media repo in the service folder and that media repo is actually implemented with the i media repo so just copy this code and paste uh, or you can say replace the media repo class with this media repo class uh, with my code and resolve the using's name uh, space uh, i media repo is actually exist in infrastructure folder so resolve name space using's you can say and the my context uh, class is actually exist in data folder and after that we have some uh, methods that is implemented method uh, like the add range where your uh, uh, model of medias um, multiple medias uh, inserted uh, by using the add range method and here we have the next method is get uh, delete method uh, through which uh, we can delete uh, the media uh, from the database table that is media manager okay add range method and delete method get by id and delete by media and get all uh, that uh, also included with the include keyword with the category so media uh, have a category if you want to show media with the category then you can use include keyword and get by id is also there uh, by using first uh, item or you can say the one item if you want to uh, get with the category then you can use get by id and also insert and a delete update method is also there so this is the media repo repository now the next repository is a unit of work repository uh, by using this unit of work we can combine uh, both uh, classes that is media repo as well as the category repo okay so uh, here we have a unit of work class and that unit of work class is implemented by the i unit of work and in which we have two public properties that is media repo and the category repo and two another method that is one is used for the uploading files into the ww root folder and one for the save changes to the databases or you can say enable migrations so uh, here we have a i unit of work namespace and also we have two private properties that is the category repo and the media repo so by using the public property we can return by using get property by uh, return the private properties with the constructor new category repo context and the new media repo under score context okay now after that you can uh, use save for the save changes and that is the upload file um, uh, with the parameter uh, i form file here we have upload multiple files in the project or you can say here we have multiple upload multiple files in a ww root folder or local folder okay so uh, here we have uh, ensure file name uh, ensure file name is actually sure uh, the correct file name provided by the user now uh, get uh, path and the file name is also uh, have a new method um, through which we can get uh, the ww root folder and the upload folder also so these are the methods in i unit of work uh, sorry in unit, uh, unit of work repository okay now after that uh, the services are clear uh, models are clear data are clear and the uh, another thing we can do uh, with the uh, application settings folder uh, by using application settings you can uh, application settings dot json file you can add a connection strings so a connection string uh, in json like this default connection is the name of the connection string and the server is local db mmsql local db is the server name and database name is a image gallery that is match with the already exist database name so change it uh, image gallery project and trusted connection true multiple active result sets true 
so this is the connection string and now after that we can implement some codes in the startup.cs file and actually startup.cs file is actually take some uh, context uh, take some sql servers like that and also mapping is there so just add a new uh, folder that is auto mapper uh, here we have a new class add a new class in the auto mapper folder the name uh, of the class is my profile now uh, after that uh, add a new class that is my profile and just paste that code now uh, just paste that code oops uh, here we have two class and that is my profile so it's not replaced so first of all uh, uh, just comment comment uh, the create map uh, with the category and uh, um, uh, some view models so just comment it and after that uh, resolve the profile it's if it is solved uh, first okay now just remove the class uh, just above the class uh, that is and after that you can resolve the profile uh, oops it's not there actually profile is actually exist in auto mapper namespace uh, and that uh, is actually available in auto mapper package so if you want to install a package from NuGet manager then you can also uh, install auto mapper package and after if you want to install auto mapper package by using visual studio that features so you can do this okay so after install your profile uh, class is resolved by the auto mapper package that is using auto mapper you can see the namespace and after that you can add that reference in the startup.cs file uh, just copy that code and paste the start uh, in the startup.cs file just after that okay so uh, here we have uh, my context so resolve uh, this is the duplicate duplicate code so uh, add db context and context with the use sql server and connection string and connection string is the name default connection and add transit is the dependency injection where we have unit of work a uh, fire it's a single class through which we can uh, call uh, both uh, classes that is category and the uh, media media repository and here we have a auto mapper dot map configure mapper configuration is not available in auto mapper because here auto mapper is the folder name but auto mapper is the class name so just rename the folder name or you can say the namespace name auto mapper that is uh, Mm, uh, here is the naming convention uh, here is the naming conflictions you can say ambiguity between the auto exist uh, folder name uh, or you can say namespace and new get package auto mapper so just uh, uh, so just rename the folder and also rename the namespace name here we uh, make m is small in the auto mapper and namespace auto mapper m is small and resolve that issue in startup.cs file automatically so now uh, resolve my profile namespace okay now after that uh, that next thing you can do in the image gallery project that is to make view models as well as uh, controller okay so now the data is clear uh, model is clear view model is clear uh, sorry view model is prepared so just prepare the view models uh, actually view model is designed for both uh, categories that is uh, view model for the category and view for uh, view model for the media so just add it add a new folder name 
that is category view model and the another folder name is the media view model okay that's fine now in the category view model you can add three classes that is simple view model edit view model and the create view model so first of all add a simple category view model and after that you can add edit category view model and the third one is the create category view model Okay. Now after that, uh, add a new class under the category view model and the second class is edit category view model. Here we have two properties that is ID and the string. And the third one is a create category view model. Uh, with the only title because uh, by using the create uh, view only I want to add a title in the category section so just add a new category uh, view model uh, guys if you like this video please 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 subscribe my channel don't forget this if you like this video you learn many more things about ASP.NET Core because I will share my experience uh, my uh, two year experience uh, with the ASP.NET MVC so uh, if you like this video please don't forget this please uh, like uh, subscribe my channel now also you can add some uh, classes in the media view model and a media view model with the um, media view model simple class that is used in the index uh, method action method and edit uh, also media view model is used for the delete and details also so media view model we have a id image path and a string with the category title actually media class is not taking the category title it's taking a category id but here we have in the view model we can take uh, media uh, category title by using the profile class we can change the category id with the category title in uh, later videos okay so here we have media edit view model in which we have id image path iphone file with the file and category id okay now save these things and the final uh, thing is media create view model so please 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 guys uh, don't forget this please subscribe my channel if you like this video i will provide you a better video tutorials of xamarin also i will provide you better video tutorial of uh, bootstrap jquery's and many more things about uh, uh, web technologies so thank you very much for watching this video and um, till watching the next video that is the i think final video tutorial for the media gallery project thank you very uh, thank you thank you very much for watching this video